the ancient Egyptian queen, who suddenly vanished. She was Egypt's most famous queen, yet her fate remains unknown. Hundreds of years later, who was Nefertiti and what happened to her? Nefertiti was 15 when she married 16-year-old Amenhotep IV. Her background is a mystery. Some historians believe she was the daughter of I. I was an influential advisor to several pharaohs. Others speculate that Nefertiti was a princess from the Mitanni kingdom. Her name means the beautiful woman has come. Anyway, Amenhotep was a pharaoh. This made Nefertiti the queen. The couple began a new religious movement. Amenhotep renamed himself Akhenaten. Nefertiti adopted the additional name of Neferneferuaten. Her new full name meant, beautiful are the beauties of Aden. The beautiful woman has come. The monotheistic religion was dedicated to sun god Aden. It was a calculated political move. The couple sought to distance themselves from the old Egypt. Akhenaten and Nefertiti built a new capital city, Amarna. Amarna soon became an important center for the arts. Egypt prospered under Akhenaten. A distinctive Amarna style can be seen in art from that era. It contains some of the earliest depictions of movement. Amarna-style human figures have exaggerated proportions. They have elongated hands and feet. Nefertiti held plenty of royal titles, as was common. She was the Lady of Grace, the Great of Praises, the Lady of the Two Lands. But her most important position was that of the Great Royal Wife. That meant she was Akhenaten's favored consort. Nefertiti gave birth to six daughters. The art of Amarna often depicted the royal couple. Nefertiti is shown driving chariots. Some carvings show her attending ceremonial acts. In others, she's portrayed as a warrior. This was probably an exaggeration of her actual role, but it speaks volumes about her status in Egypt. Of course, Nefertiti and Akhenaten had their detractors. Their new religion came as a shock to many. The old priestly class hated Nefertiti with a passion. Some accused her of being a bad influence on Akhenaten. It's hard to say how it all ended. That's the biggest mystery of all. Nefertiti's name disappears from the historical record. She's last mentioned in the 12th year of Akhenaten's reign. Akhenaten went on to rule five more years. But what happened to his beloved wife? She may have abandoned her old title. One theory is that she became an official co-regent. She would have ruled under the name of Neferneferuaden. Nefertiti had no sons of her own, but the succeeding pharaoh, Tutankhamun, was her stepson. His father was Akhenaten. His mother was one of Akhenaten's lower consorts. So it's unlikely that Nefertiti fell out of favor. She would have been mummified and buried in a pyramid, but her remains have never been identified. Of all the mummies ever exhumed, none belong to Nefertiti. Her burial place has yet to be unearthed too. Even her daughter's remains have never turned up. There's a hidden chamber in King Tut's tomb. Some historians believe it houses Nefertiti's remains.